Hi everyone, welcome to Banana Stand's video series about manual integration into your Shopify store. This video intros the topic of how to manually install the product detail snippet into your code. The first step is to log into your Banana Stand app. For step two, we want to preview the social proof tool and see it live on your store. Notice how no social proof notification appears? That means it's not integrated. Let's check the product detail tool. We also might notice that there are no product detail notifications showing up here. It's another sign that the snippet isn't integrated. Let's check the get it by timer for step seven just to make sure. Let's preview our Get It By Timer tool and see if the notifications appear. Notice how they're not appearing? That's definitely a sign that the snippet isn't installed on our site. For step 10, let's head to our Shopify theme code, check it out, and edit it. So to edit our theme, we just want to go to the online store, click on Actions, and then from the drop-down menu, click Edit Code. For step 11, let's check that the four banana stand snippet files, like we saw in the last video, are integrated. Once we've checked those, we can go to step 12 and check our theme.liquid file for the banana stand footer snippet. If you scroll down to the bottom, you should see it before those ending tags. And once we know that those two important pieces are integrated properly, we can look for the file that controls our product pages. The first few files we check might not actually be correct. Just look through them. This one we notice barely has any code in it and actually tells us to find the contents in the product-template.liquid file instead. So let's check that one out instead. Now let's see to look if the banana stand snippet is there. If we can't find it by looking at the code, we can always press Command or Control and the F key on our keyboard and type in the word banana into the search bar. Hit Enter to search and see if the word banana pops up any code in your file. Since we didn't find the snippet, we need to get that to manually paste it in. Navigate to bananastand.io slash resources and find the article titled How to Manually Integrate into Your Shopify Product View Details page. Give the article a read. For step 16, look at the potential file names where the code could be integrated. Then for step 17, we want to copy the snippet line of code from the article. Step 18 is going to take us back to the tools. We're going to want to preview the Get It By Timer again so we can inspect the page's code. Right click and hit inspect in Chrome to be able to see the page's code. For step 20, we can check the code out to find where we want to put the notifications. Probably the best place is below the Add to Cart button. Notice how there's a little form tag in there? So for step 21, we want to go back to our Shopify code and search for the word form to see where the code that matches the one that we saw on our page is. Look, we found the form tag. Looks like this is also the code that controls that add to cart button. For step 22, let's paste the snippet we copied from the article underneath the form ending tag. Don't forget to save and note that this change will be saved live. For step 24, let's go back to the tab that the get it by timer preview opened in. We want to be able to refresh the page to see that the code has also refreshed. Now we want to look through the refreshed code to see if we can find that banana stand has actually been integrated into this page. And check it out! You can actually see the notification displaying live on our site. So that's the get it by timer. Let's make sure that the other two tools are working as well. Step 26 will take us to preview the product detail tool. So product detail is working. Now let's make sure that the social proof tool works in preview mode as well. The social proof tool looks like it's working in preview mode as well. Now we want to make sure that the notifications work live on our site outside of the preview mode. Step 27 is to check your site live to make sure all three tools are working. Open any product on your site and make sure they show under the add to cart button. And look at that, it looks like they're working. Thanks for watching and keep your eyes open for the next video.